It's time, time, time for Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Helping to get your day started right. Good morning. Welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, March 1st, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day in this brand new month, Give praise to God today because he is worthy of our praise. And be, go and encourage somebody today. Go share your faith with somebody today. Help somebody along the way that needs your help. Because we all need a little encouragement, a little inspiration each day. So go and be that inspiration, be that encouragement to somebody. Our scripture reading this morning is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter number 13, and it's verses 20 and 21. Scripture says, Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Friends, we've been studying in the book of Hebrews for a long time now, and, and we come down here to to with some of the closing remarks of the writer here and he's he's laying out for them what ultimately is God's plan for each and every one of us let's look at it he says now the God of peace he's talking about God the Father here that brought Jesus that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant all right, now he's given an introduction here. He's talking about the God, the true God, the only God, God the Father, that brought again Jesus out of, out of the dead. Jesus hung on the cross. That was the everlasting covenant. The blood of the everlasting covenant is our salvation that was paid for by Jesus Christ as he hung on the cross and died for our sins. And he is the great shepherd. And we are the sheep. We are his sheep. The great shepherd leads the sheep. The great shepherd protects the sheep. The great shepherd cares for the sheep. And that's what, what God does for us. And then he says, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Now this is the way, verse 21 now is going to tell us what happens because of the blood of the covenant. The everlasting covenant. He says, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. I'm going to stop right there. Because of the blood of Jesus that paid for the everlasting covenant. We can be made perfect in every good work to do His will. God's plan for you, my friend, is to do His will, to do every good work that is part of His will. We have been called and to, to do good works, the works that He has called us to do. Then He goes on, working in you that which is well-pleasing in His sight. I'm going to stop right there again. Not only are we going to be made perfect because of the good works that we're doing according to His will, but He's going to be working in us that which is well-pleasing in His sight. He's going to be working in us that which is well-pleasing in His sight if we continue in His will, doing the good works that is according to His will. Then we're going to be living a life which is well-pleasing in His sight, which is going to make us perfect in his sight because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And all this is done through Jesus here in the rest of this verse says through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So we'll be made perfect in every good work to do his will as God works in us that which is well pleasing in his sight. How does he do it? Through Jesus Christ. The one that he raised from the dead that his blood was shed for the everlasting covenant so that we can be made perfect to do his will, to do the good works according to his will. So let me ask you, friends, do you know what God's will is for your life? Are you doing the good works that God's called you to do? Are you living a life that is well-pleasing to God? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Music